Hi my friends, we continue from where we left off. We have introduced concrete views in the previous lesson. If you haven't watched it, I recommend you to watch it first. As you know, we can list our books and their comments. In this lesson, we will focus on the process of adding comments to related book. The process of creating comments will be a little different from creating a book. Because if you remember, we used a foreign key, one to many relation. So we need to associate comment with the book while creating. We need to know how these processes are done in the background. Uh, the friends who deal with Django are already familiar with these issues. But since this video series is a series from zero to advance, I will not hesitate to go into details. So first, we will understand the logic of creating comment on terminal, I mean on shell, and then we will continue. So let's get start. I go back to the editor, and I stop the server. We will write python manage.py shell. We can do all the create operations we want here. Let's import the comment model here. Now let's take a look at our model again. What do I need to be able to create a comment? I need a book. We will touch on that later. Uh, so first I need owner of comment. So let's write it. So first comment.objects.create. So we create a new comment by this way. And uh, inside the parentheses, we will write the names of fields, the required fields. I mean, we don't need to write create date or updated date. These are generated by Django in the background. We just need owner of comment and comment and the book. And we will talk about the book later. So let's write uh, owner. I click enter, we get an error, I will extend my terminal. We received an integrity error. It expects for the ID of the book this command is going to belong to. Then we need to import the book model as well. So let's import it. Let's assign the most recently added book to a variable. So let's say book.objects.last enter and write book. As you can see it returns the name and the writer information of the last book we added. That's it. We see the expression we specified in the str method. And of course we can access all the information about the book. For example, let's write book.id. I can access the ID information. Now I am going back to the comment creating process where I got an integrity error. Now I am going to send the book ID next to other informations. So let's write book underscore and uh, let's write book.id. The book.id comes from here. So I enter. We didn't get any errors this time. We were able to successfully create the comment. In short, when creating the comment object, we need the ID information of the relevant book. But how will we send the relevant book ID from browser? We could access the last book by typing last here, but of course this will not be that much easy in real project. The most common solution for this is URL. We can carry some information to the server via URLs and then we can use this information to make queries. For example, 
In the previous lesson, we wrote such a URL to access the book details. We can create another URL like that, and uh, we, we can use the value here to find which book to comment on. Now let's go back to the our views file and uh, get start. I will exit here and I will run my server again. First of all, I will import the comment model and serializer. And then let's write the view. I will import create API view, which will handle my post requests. And we will extend the class from create API view. And of course, here we need to introduce the query set and serializer to this class. I mean to generic API view class. So you know create API view is extended from generic API view and mixins. So let's write query set. Okay, up to here. Now we need to make some modifications on the create method because we can't create a comment in this way. We saw that in the in the terminal. We need to intervene while the create process and specify the book ID information while the create process is happening. Otherwise, we will get an integrity error. So how we will do this? First, let's go to the source code of create API view. The create API view is using create model mixing to handle post actions. So let's go to source code of it. Here is the create method. The creation process takes place here. The request that data will be our comments we send. And then if the comments get validated, the perform create method will be called. And the perform create method is here. Saving to database operation is performed here. The serializer here will include all comments, but the book ID field will be missing, just like in the terminal. Now we need to customize this method, so I will copy it. And paste it here. As I mentioned before, we will create a URL like this. And uh, if we can capture the value coming via URL inside the perform create method, we will have access the book ID information. And then we will perform the creation process by associating it with the relevant book. We will see how to do this, but first let's quickly create the URL. Now Let's go to this endpoint. I go back to Chrome and the, the less miserable the ID is one slash add comment. There is something I want to show you. We retrieve the book whose ID is one. But here we see the other books. This is because there was a variable called fields in the serializer. You remember is serializer the fields we specify it at as all it serializes all the fields from model but we don't need book uh, field here so we want to serialize all the fields except book because we don't need to see all the books here so I will write exclude Let's write book. I will delete it. Let's save it. If you don't know what exclude a uh, variable does here, we specify the fields that we don't want to serialize. Okay, let's go back to Chrome. I refresh the page. Okay, we don't see the books anymore. Let's try to add a comment. Let's write owner of comment.
I click post I got I got the same error that I got in terminal now I want to go to the source code of concrete view in the previous lesson we we said that we will talk about what these args and the keyword arguments are for here we are I can access all the arguments and the keywords arguments by them. I mean the expression that can be a my URL. Okay, let's get start writing. Go back to views. Since these views are extended from each other, I can use keywords here just just as I use the perform create method. You will understand better. Let's start writing book underscore id you can give any name self dot did self comes from here and the keywords keyword arguments i mean and that get book underscore id this expression i wrote here must be the same expression that i used in url because you know this expression here is like a value placeholder to summarize we could access the book ID value from URL by using keyword arguments. And you know the this keywords arguments comes from super classes. And the last step is to send this book ID to my comment serializer. This a book ID equal to book ID. Okay, I save it. I go back to Chrome, I refresh the page. Let's write Aaron Demirbaş random comment. Click pause. We have successfully add a new comment. So let's go back to uh, list of books. We can see the comment here. Random comment. Owner of comment is Aaron Demirbaş. Okay. Now let's look at how to delete comments. I'm going to create a new view. I need to create a new URL. Let's create it. Okay, I save it and save the view again. Let's go to the endpoint we created. Comments, I forgot it. Comments and the ID of comment. Let's say two. Comments dot comment slash two. We call to retrieve the comment. Now let's let's try to update this comment Muhammad Ali let's say I don't know some random names just to try it click put okay the update process worked now let's try the delete operation I click delete and conf confirm we also received the 204 no content. As you can see, friends, we can now handle adding and delete comments without any problems. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next video.